What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of V4 ReZero Season 2. This is episode 22, and with me, as always, mm-hmm. I have Blue Spit. Uh, so, yeah, we... Well, we're already in the end game right now. Just, uh, uh, well, pretty much starting off where the last episode left off with um, Garfield, like, starting off his fight against Elsa, which, you know, he's, he's actually pretty, you know, holding his own, like, pretty well, as far as I'm, I'm concerned. Yeah. I mean, he's pretty much, like, like, there was even one scene where he was, like, he smashed Elsa's face into a wall. It's like, I, I don't know, like, how, she, like, like, how her face is not, like, I don't know, this disfigured after he dragged her face, like, yeah. across, across, like, yeah, really. I don't know how, how far he dragged her face along the walls like that, but she was able to, ma- she managed to get through that, and then also, at one point, like, she tried to slash at his face, but he managed to bite down uh, at, at her kukris. Yeah. Yeah. At- uh, yeah, and then they both go through, like, mm-hmm. through the floor well, at one well, point. Not, well, not, not before, uh, like, yeah, she like, slashed at uh, but, Garfield's, uh, I think it was his right ear. Yeah. Um, and, well, and he also tells uh, Frederica to, uh, you know, let him yeah, deal with her. Yeah, and of course she uh, she uses that opportunity to get uh, Rem out of her room. And then, of course, uh, yeah. we uh, also continue off, um, I think, uh, where the last episode left off with uh, Subaru meeting up uh, with uh, with Beatrice, just pretty much trying to convince her to come, uh, come with him. Uh, tr- well, you know, of course, trying to convince her not to follow this whole, you know, wh- whatever you know, this fake, wh- whatever this tome that she's trying to, you know, obey or try to, I don't know, try to fulfill some kind of prophecy that she, you know, that she's destined to die or something because of what you know, I don't know. Uh- well, if we remember, it was like I suppose a kid that told her to wait there for "quote unquote" that person, person yeah. uh, whoever that. Yeah, person is. and then of course she she just asked Subaru like if she, if he can be that person, and I I don't know if like he really fully answered that question for her, but you know just. Well, he he said he said he mm-hmm. couldn't be, uh, and and then of course when he says that he gets thrown yeah. out of the room. Um, but I, I assume, like, what she means by that is, like, for basically that person to put her above mm-hmm. everybody else, and, uh, Subaru can't do that, because as we know, he, he only sees Amelia yeah. that way, so I, you know, that's why he says he, he couldn't be, so I'm, I'm kind of wondering how they're going to get Beatrice to, you know, how Subaru's going to get Beatrice to actually follow mm-hmm. him at this point, um, because it looks like that's kind of been put on hold yeah. for a while. Because uh, I, I actually thought in this episode we might actually maybe get Beatrice's help, but uh, that kind of we we didn't really get that. So she, he goes super just gets shoved out of yeah. the room. Yeah, and, um, and and of course, um, yeah. What, what was it? It was Pet, Petra and Otto like uh, uh, find him in the hallway. Well, in the same area where uh, Subaru got got his butt thrown out of you know of the library. So they they try to get out, mm-hmm. but of course, like they they tell uh, Super, of course, the mobbies that um, have arrived, and one of the mobbies can't like be dissuaded by uh, I think one of the crystals that Petra is holding. Yeah, and, and yeah, apparently that's a strategy that Subaru employed in the mansion. Yeah, arc, I think. Um, I actually yeah, didn't but that. you know, of course, it has no effect on one of the mob beasts. But of course, uh, they managed to escape outside thanks to Frederica's help. And of course, uh, soon afterwards, I think it was um, I think it was Melee who makes an appearance with this giant, like hippopotamus mob beast, whatever that thing is. <laughs> I, I didn't yeah, expect and, that. And uh, of course, like you know, she's ha- she still has the intention to of going after both Frederica and of course. Petra, which of course, Pe- Petra tries, you know, tries to talk, you know, talk it out with Melee, but of course, it's there's no point to it because, you know, Me- Melee is, I think, is pretty intent on in killing everyone, uh, you know, at, at the mansion. So, uh, so pretty much everyone mm-hmm. else tries to make a run for it while Frederica, um, you know, takes it upon herself to fight off, like, you know, the both Melee and her mob beast. Uh, but of course, they go back inside and they try to like to go into this like this uh, escape route inside uh, Roswell's office. But before they can do that, they're uh, approached by this you know the the mob beast that they mentioned that has no you know that has uh, no effect on well 
actually no, it's uh, that that has no effect on that. Uh, what was it? That crystal that Petra's holding. Yeah, it looks like some kind of uh, like yeah. a chimera. Yeah, I think it was the same one we saw earlier in the season. Uh, yeah, it, it and, was. But but of course, like the the scene cuts off from that before we find out what happens. So pretty much the the remainder of this episode was just focused on Amelia's second trial, in which. Um, yeah, I was kind of curious as to what Amelia's like. I mean, as as we we saw from Subaru's second trial that it was uh, all the different worlds that he died in, and uh, basically seeing what happened mm-hmm. after he died. Um, and uh, I wasn't really sure what Amelia's would entail, um, but we learned in this episode that it's basically um, what would have happened had the tragedy at the Elior Forest not occurred in her mm-hmm. trial of the past. Um, so of course we see Fortuna again uh, with I I want to say it's Amelia as the same age she is now. But I mean it looks at least yeah, it looks that way. I, I would assume um, it's it's yeah. you know it's what she would have been like you know had had that not occurred. Yeah, you know. It's, it's, yeah, because we see the Elior Forest and it's you know pretty much the same as we yeah. as how we saw it in the trial. Yeah, past. and Amelia like at that point you know is still her cheery old self with. You know, alongside Fortuna, and then of course we see a uh, Battle Goose make an appearance again, and like mm-hmm. you know, like because like assuming if like this is the the timeline that he never t- you know like infected himself with the took yeah in the took in the factor. witch factor, then he's he's still like you know a normal person, and now like you know like uh, spending time with both Amelia and Fortuna. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's it just makes it that much more tragic when you watch this episode. Just to, you know, when you know what happened with both Fortuna and, mm-hmm. and Juice. Yeah, and uh, of course, like trying trying to li- live, like Amelia trying to live out like, like, um, like like uh, a part of history that you know that she wished would have happened. But of course, like it's n- you know that none of what she's experienced is you know is even real. So, like a part. Yeah, I was expecting this to be about as unpleasant as Subaru's second trial, but not really. It's more like the mm-hmm. opposite of that. It's just like a world that Amelia would probably rather live in. Um, but you know, that's not what reality is. So yeah, can't, it's it's uh, live in like that world. I think I think uh, like the point of this trial is her trying to let you know, trying to let go, letting yeah. go of feeling. And of, of course, like uh, what what it is is like you know, they're like everyone else is you know having having fun they're out outside having a picnic and then you know Amelia of course like you know enjoys herself for the time being and then you know of course like uh, like we all said like she realizes that you know none of this is real to her you know even though she really wished it would be so like she she pretty much walks out and like you know gets on top of a like uh, a cliffside uh, overlooking the lake uh, with uh, with Fortuna and uh, Betelgeuse uh, enjoying their time together and of course we see Archie uh come up to her like pretty much like you know walking through like everything you know that you know she's currently seeing in this reality saying that you know that it's not real you know of course like this is something that what Amelia would have wanted in her lifetime yeah um yeah and we we also kind of just get a montage of like everything that Amelia has been through uh and this also includes scenes from the uh, uh frozen bond OVA so if people haven't seen that, they will m- probably be a little bit confused um, uh, when they when these scenes get brought up. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah, it's more, more than likely you would need to watch the Frozen Bond OVA just just to understand it. E- even though yeah. like the Frozen Bond OVA had, did have some like uh, scenes cut out from the the light novels, I think it's it's still necessary for people mm-hmm. to understand you know what uh, what Amelia's past is. Yeah, um, but. Uh, the, the, like the the most interesting thing is like I, I mean I didn't actually think that you know obviously that's not really Archie that Amelia is seeing in this trial uh, because it eventually turns into uh, Echidna standing mm-hmm. behind her and um, Echidna like th- this is one of the most interesting scenes in this scenes in this episode because Echidna like you know like always is saying like you know I hate you but she's also crying um, like obviously we know that Echidna holds a lot of resentment towards Amelia. Um, and there's you know like i i just i have to wonder why because she has it seems like she has a lot of personal like a personal grudge with amelia that amelia herself isn't really aware of i would why. i would just um, crack this down as to more jealousy if anything because 
I think I I just wonder like as I mean there there is a theory that you know like I I you know we don't know who Amelia's mother is but I I feel like it's possible that it's either like a kid and has a very close personal relationship or had a very close personal relationship with Amelia's mother or she herself could potentially be Amelia's mother um I, just judging by the way she acts like she was acting and also how she's acted in previous episodes um it would it would make sense but nothing's really been confirmed yet but Echidna has just been acting really weird towards Amelia so I have to wonder you know if there's I just feel like there's definitely something we don't know about uh with when it comes to Echidna uh, how Echidna feels mm-hmm. about Amelia yeah I mean I, I don't I don't know it's it's I mean like Amelia like Amelia said that she is a daughter of a witch but we don't know which one so I mean it, it's mm-hmm. possible maybe it could be Echidna I mean, I mean I'd be shocked but I mean, I've also heard the theory that it's Minerva, but I feel like that's, I feel like that's a stretch because they don't really resemble mm-hmm. each other. So I'm yeah, not sure about I that. Yeah, I mean, but but anyway, there, there was also another thing. Like she she also called Archie, you know, his, that her brother. I mean, is that unless that's really? I mean, that's kind of news. Um, that's kind of news to me if like if that's I, I, really true or not. But I don't know if they're if they're blood related. Um. I, I'm not sure. She could just call him that. Um, I don't know if he's a, her actual brother. Um, I but I haven't read this yeah. part in the novel, so I'm not sure. But I I, I kind of yeah. doubt it to be honest. I mean, I mean, uh, yeah, it's it's kind of news to me from you know when I heard her say that. I mean, yeah. I mean, well, well, of course, of course, none of us knows like her, you know, her parentage or her or her uh, or her remaining family outside of Fortuna. So. I mean, it's probably something mm-hmm. we'll we'll never find out until like maybe much later uh, in, into the story. But you know, as far as we know, this, mm-hmm. I, like this is as far as like either of us has read into, you know, from from the light novels itself. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, and also as far as I know, this doesn't. I don't think this really gets brought up in any of the in the in the, any of the arcs that uh, from the light novel mm-hmm. so far. So, yeah. We, we yeah. still don't know yet. So, uh, of, of course, like, you know, she she does eventually, you know, leave the trial, you know, successfully. And then, of course, you know, before she can go back again to take on her third trial, like, she's greeted by uh, everyone from, from the village, you know, trapped in the sanctuary. Uh, initially, she thought like, it, was, it was Subaru that convinced them to, uh, to see her off. But, of course, like, it's mostly the villagers that uh, took it upon themselves to see her. Yeah, um, yeah. We see them show up along with uh, what are the Ryuzu clones? Yeah, and and of course, this this is pretty much like you know another development. It's like and on how much like how much has changed between like uh, the villagers like initially resenting her to now like having uh, overall respect for her and showing uh, you know, support behind her. You know, after what she's doing for them. Yeah, and. Also, something I guess I was a little bit disappointed with with this episode is we don't really get to see the we didn't really get to see like Rom versus Roswell. We kind of like got a brief glimpse of the fight because of uh, Ryuzu telling uh, Emilia what what's going on mm-hmm. with Rom. Um, but maybe we'll see that in the next yeah. episode. Uh, but yeah, we don't actually mm-hmm. get to see it. Uh, yeah, and out. then of course, like she Emilia eventually goes back uh, into the tomb to to initiate her third trial and. Supposedly, uh, before the episode ends, like it says, she says the voice says to her that experience like um, the unforeseen tragedy that's about to happen or something, or the well, the unforeseen, unforeseeable yeah, future or, un- something or like unforeseeable that. disaster uh-huh. that that is about to occur. So like, so it's possible yeah. that her her next trial might be something like if like um, if she would have failed her in her mission and then you know she would see like a future that. That would result in absolute disaster oh. or something. That's kind of weird. How it? Well, if that's the case, it seems like it sort of switched things around because with Subaru, like you know, like he saw what would have happened in the the different timelines where he died. Um, so I guess Emilia is going to see something similar where she, if she failed, she would see what what the result hmm. of that would be. Mm. Um, I mean, I don't know. You know I, um, it, unless they mean. Unless when they say the future, they're, we're going to get a glimpse of what's going to happen in the future of the series, such as like stuff from Arc, arc 5 or even further. Um, that would mm-hmm. be interesting, too. 
but I'm not sure what exactly we're going uh, to get. I mean, in, like, the trials were, like, slightly different for both Emilia and Subaru. I mean, I mean, for Subaru's case, I mean, yeah. he has uh, returned by death. And, of course, Emilia doesn't doesn't even have, have that kind of power. So, I mean, it, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, I suppose that's why his trials were much yeah. more painful. But but overall, yeah. Or at least the but, second yeah. trial. But o- overall, this episode was, like, uh, pre- you know, pretty good. Um, even though, like, it did, it did, like, you know, leave us off in, like, a couple cliffhangers here and there. But, yeah, o- overall, it was a good mm-hmm. uh, good episode for Amelia, like, development-wise. Yeah, I thought so. Um, I, I wasn't really expecting the majority of the episode to be uh, about Amelia. I was actually hoping that we would get uh, more stuff from what's going on at the mansion. But I guess they're they're going to save that for either the next episode or maybe even mm-hmm. the one after that. Um, but I'm most interested in how they're going to convince Beatrice to, uh, you know, how Subaru is going to even convince Beatrice to come with him. Yeah, I mean, um, I mean that... I mean, I, I wonder if they're, if we're even going to see the other trial Amelia is going to go through in the next episode. I mean, she, I, I guess if, if she, you know, once that happens, you know, she's finally going to have freed the sanctuary as well. So um, maybe they'll show that and then we'll see uh, what's going on at, at the mansion. And then, you know, Subaru eventually joins them back up at the sanctuary. Um so I'm not really sure how this is mm-hmm. going to play out, but and of um, course there's also the fight yeah. between uh, Roswell, Puck, and Ram uh, in, inside uh, re- yeah. reuses like uh, re- reuses like tomb or something like that. Hmm. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I agree. This was actually this was definitely a really good episode, and especially really good for Amelia's character development. Uh, you know, she because she finally in this trial she realizes that she's been like relying too much on others to help her. Um, and I guess she realizes she needs to, uh, you know, sometimes just like do mm-hmm. things herself, which is which is one of the complaints I think people had about her character too, is that she's she's always kind of, oh, at least most of the time she's portrayed as someone who's in need of being saved. Yeah, um, I th- yeah, I think so. this like the, I think for this particular season, this was more like more of Amelia's season compared to like you know how she was portrayed in season one. I think. Um, see- yeah, like at least the yeah, second half. Yeah, I mean, half uh, of it. Se- season season one was more more about like you know, how you know, about like Su- Subaru's development as a character, like of him, like you know, like try, trying trying mm-hmm. to overcome his arrogance and you know his overall need, putting his needs over everyone else's uh, before realizing that you know he has to change. Yeah. Like by the end of the season, like uh, se- season two was more more of a continuation of Subaru's um, storyline, but it, it's but this I think this season itself is more. Um, more of Amelia's season, if anything. I mean, I would say it focuses more on the side characters yeah. in general. Um, I mean, Amelia, like Amelia Roswell, um, Beatrice, uh, e- even even Otto, who was not really that a much of an important character in season one, gets uh, you know some some amount of development mm-hmm. in this. Yeah. Uh, also, yeah, Ram, too. Ram as well. Um, but yeah, yeah uh, so I think we only have like three more episodes left. I think this is uh, episode twenty-two. So, uh, so yeah, we're we're, we're really mm. close to the end end of the season at this point. But yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to what's going to happen. I mean, I'm curious to see what's going to happen between like the fight between uh, uh Ra- you know Ram and Roswell, uh, like whether or not like you know Roswell's going to be successful in initiating that uh, what was that that weather manipulating spell. Like of like you know turning the entire sanctuary into a snowy graveyard. Well, if the He's opener's pro- anything, probably. To go I by. mean, we'll have to find <laughs> out like how he you know he manages to do that. I, I'm guessing, I I think this is what's probably going to happen is you know because the pretty much all the villagers are with Amelia right now is once Amelia completes the third trial, she po- could possibly evacuate all the villagers out of the sanctuary before Roswell manages to change the weather and then the great rabbit mm-hmm. shows up. Uh, so people, not everybody does doesn't just get eaten by the rabbit, um, and then Subaru somehow gets uh, Beatrice on his side, um, and I guess Beatrice will try to do something about the mm-hmm. great rabbit. Um, so that that's like I said, if if the opening is anything to go by, that's might be what happened. But as we know, the opening openings for a different anime don't always show what actually ends up happening yeah. in the show. So 
it could be misleading too. Yeah, but but yeah, o- um, overall, I, I think this is just a, still a g- great episode. Um, th- definitely a, g- a good way to mm-hmm. continue, uh, you know, with Amelia's development. I'm um, curious, like, you know, what, you know, of, of how she's going to end up dealing with the final, um, the final trial that's about to happen. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't have too much else to say about this episode. I thought it was an, another great episode, and also another. Pretty long one. All of them consistently have been like almost thirty yeah, minutes like long. Yeah, al- almost. I think this so. is almost the longest one that I've noticed. Like based on the, uh, I-, I guess like ba- based on like how-, how much time was in here. I think this was exactly twenty nine minutes if you add the um, the ending song at the end. Yeah, um, and some of them haven't even really had the you know ending animation. Yeah, I think so, this is. The th- this is yeah, um, I think this is the second time we see the ending animation. I think. Uh, alongside with the opening, which we yeah. only saw twice in this season, or well, this part of the season. Yeah, um, but yeah, this was another great episode. I went into this blind because I didn't read this part of the of the novels beforehand. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm definitely uh, interested to see what's going to happen next. Um, and uh, yeah, that all being said, until next Wednesday, we will see you all next time. <laughs>